Hey guys, it's Adewale here, and I'm so, so, so thrilled uh, with this update that I'm shipping today. And maybe this is just wishing you all Merry Christmas um, and a free gift for all of um, our members who have already purchased the private LLM. Um, so with this, we're going to be looking at some of the new toys we can play with in private LLM. But first, before you start to use private LLM, I'd like to just highlight a few things that we need to address with the server. For all of you who have already downloaded and is already and you're already using the app that how to get to the server. So once you open the program, you click the two arrows that's going in opposite direction. And this is the server. Now we want to make some changes to the preset in the server. This is going to just allow the, the program to run as smoothly as possible. So first of all, you want to select the Zephyr setting, the Zephyr setting. And once you've selected the Zephyr, the Zephyr setting, you want to look for automatically add input prefix to stop strings and uncheck that. So you want to uncheck that because it looks like that has been causing a number of stoppages that were not necessary. And then once you've done that, you want to also make sure that you've got your context length set to 4,800, 4,800. Once you've done that, you then reload the, the model and you're good to go. So let's just dive in into the updates now. So the first thing I want to talk about with the update, because some people have been pestering me that in the chat module, whenever they're writing, it just stops. Um, so one of the reasons it stops is because the LLM has its own limitation and will stop anyway. So I've implemented a continue button that tries to continue from where the stoppage happened. So when you stop and you, you press continue, it will try to continue from there. Something you could do before you press continue is you could actually adjust the ending of the the um, content that you had written and then press continue and then it would then take it from there. So let me just give you a test. Okay, I know I've asked for uh, 200 words on the subject of fasting. I'm just going to stimulate abrupt stopping, for example, I'm just going to ab abort it and then we'll press continue just to show you how it works. And then it should start continuing from where it left up. Cultural traditions, fasting has been part of various religions and practices. Now, it may not um, be exact in, in, in terms of how it follows, but you can just adjust the endings to match. Let's try again. Wow. So this time around, I'm just going to delete this, these endings. So you can actually edit to what you want and it should try its best to continue from there. So spiritual growth, self-discipline, this process allows individuals to gain deeper insight into themselves and their beliefs whilst fostering personal growth on multiple levels, physically as they experience the health benefits ment mentally through so it tries to continue, it may not be a perfect continue, but it, I see it, it, it gives you the opportunity to completely write your article that you started writing that got stopped abruptly. So that's the first thing. The second thing was that some people are asking, how do we ensure that the content we are writing is unique, plagiarism free, and perhaps even undetectable by AI? So I've implemented a humanize button here where whatever content you have written by any AI, you can paste it in here and humanize it. And it should do a good job of passing as a human written content. It also do, does a very good job of being unique. So let's take an example. I'm going to go to ChatGPT. I had already I know I always talk about love. You must think that <laughs> I'm someone who's very love-orientated. 
perhaps I am. But okay, so we have taken this is from ChatGPT, and I'm gonna paste it in several different AI detectors. Oops. Let's scan this content for AI. Right, human score zero, readability four to seven. Okay, this is from ChatGPT. And perhaps because most people know how ChatGPT writes now, it's easy to make these AI detectors know if it's a um, bot or not. This text is likely written by AI, 94%. So this is all from ChatGPT. And then when I place it into Grammarly, it says we found plagiarism. So now I'm going to play that, take that content now and I'm going to place it into Let's clear everything. I'm going to place it here and humanize. It's going to try and write the article in the same amount of words. Now it's going to try also to make it sound more human. Remember that this content, this content was what ChatGPT wrote and ChatGPT failed that humanizing test. Whilst this is writing on, just to talk about the other update that I have done. Some of you may have noticed that when you are writing the silo, it tends to stop. It tends to stop in between that doesn't complete writing, or maybe it's, it doesn't save the articles properly. So all of that, I've done the correction. I've implemented changes. Unfortunately, again, LM Studio and the AI that we are using, there's some fishy things going on. So I had to do some coding to go around the problems they were generating. So now you should be able to generate all your articles without stopping and it should be saving properly now. Okay, let's see whether we finish writing there. Okay, still writing. So yeah, it's written that, let me first check how many words was this. So 213. It may not be exactly the same amount of words, but maybe close. 149. So it's perhaps made it more concise. Sometimes you get close to the, oops, close to the 200. So this is now what Private LLM has written. So let's check it with the content checkers. Check it with this one. No, I haven't. No, I didn't check ChatGPT with this one. Let's check ChatGPT with this one first. Which is this one here? Check I. So everything just says AI. So let's bring in what LM Studio has rewritten. Let's do a new scan here. No, oh, that it didn't work out well this time around. The last time I did it, it scored better. I have to say, Winston is one of the better catches. Let's try something else. I'll try other ones and I will come back to Winston. Let's put it through this. This text is most likely written by a human being. There's 1% probability that the text was generated by AI. And then the plagiarism check. We didn't find any plagiarism, so there's no plagiarism here. So I want to, I want to actually take this in and go back into, put it through this here again and humanize again. Let's see what happens. It might get shorter too. Okay, so Winston is currently one of the big daddies at finding AI content and text. So let's see whether this would have improved things. Maybe not, maybe it's not improved. That's very strange because the last one I did actually worked. Let's start again. I'm thinking that Winston may have trained itself on the content before because I had done it before. Let's generate something completely new. How does man brains differ from cat brains? How does human brains differ from cat brains? Let's try that. Um, I'm thinking that Winston may have trained itself on the content I used earlier on. As such, it was able to catch that, okay, there's similarities with something that is already seen. Okay, so let's try something else. Maybe humans go zero from ChatGPT. So let's place that into
what it's written. Let's see whether that will be improved on at all. Again, as I said, Winston is very, 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 very good at think, figuring out if something is AI generated. So let's try what we have written. It may not work. <laughs> it may work. Let me see. Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Yay! 96% human score. So you can see LM Studio Plus passed with fine colors. Okay. Let's put that in the plagiarism checker. Let's start with ChatGPT's content. So this is from ChatGPT. We found one plagiarism in the text. We have found also detected nine writing issues. LM Studio, uh, LM, private LLM. We didn't find any plagiarism, but we found 48 writing issues, yeah? Writing issues are fine. Now, sometimes the writing issues make it more human. However, it's okay to just read through and make correction if one needs to edit. But the point here is that the humanize button works very well to humanize any content. I find that sometimes when you use the silo, it comes out as AI written content. And that's because I have to use a lot of formulas and a lot of type styles of prompt to get the content to read right, which means we're copying different styles of writing and different ways of connecting text. So there's a higher chance that it's, it's going to be AI written. However, all you just do is you can take what you've written here and and paste it into here to humanize. I would say don't put a lot of text at a, at a go. Maybe go 200, 300, 400. Let me see how much was this that it did. So that was 400 text. So maybe 400 at a go. I wouldn't put too much because if you put too much, the LLM may start to cut whatever you're putting down. Another point, let's say you had written something like here and there's nothing in here and there's nothing in here. We can actually get the LLM to humanize the content that you've already written here. As long as you don't put anything in here, if you click here, click the humanize without nothing in the user, user input, the LLM looks at what we have written and then we write that here. So you don't always have to have something in here to have the humanized function work. So that's the continue and the humanized function. Again, with the silo, there's going to be more changes coming to the silo. At the moment, this continue button is not functioning yet, but my goal is I'm going to make this continue button such that you can stop when you've written maybe your keywords or even written your outlines, we can actually stop the whole thing and change things of the way you want. So you can write exactly what you want. So that, that's an, a, an upcoming update. So for now, your silos are not going to stop anymore. They're going to write complete. They're going to save completely. And you've got your continue and harmonize buttons to make your Christmas and New Year a pleasant one. Okay, bye.